Do you want to learn stretches that you can apply to your massage therapy techniques? Then tune in as I show you some of my favorite stretches to do on the table. So now moving to the low back and some sports massage uh, stretches that you can apply. The first one we, we will do is have them put their arms over their chest, like they're hugging themselves. And what you can do is you can take a towel or use a sheet and you're going to reach underneath this shoulder right here. And uh, the sheet just allows you to have a good grip. Now what I'm going to do is take this left hand and we're going to apply it here on top of the ASIS right here. And we're just going to rest it there. And then I'm rotating this right here. And they're feeling an amazing stretch. And we're just going to go to the edge of the stretch. So what you want to do is ask your client or patient uh, to let you know when they get to the edge of their stretch. And we're going to hold that for about three to five seconds. Now for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the, uh, the sheet just so you can see the stretch more. So we're going to grab underneath this uh, shoulder right here, placing this hand palm firmly on the, um, on the ASIS to keep that hip straight in position so it's not rotating. And then I'm leaning back. Let me know when you get to the edge of your stretch. Good. Now he's feeling an amazing stretch in that QL and into that SI joint. Feels incredible, and we're gonna stay here for about three to five seconds. Allow them to have a couple of a uh, couple of deep breaths. Good, and then we would switch and do the other side. But for this next demonstration, I'm gonna have you lie on your uh, left side for me. Again, these stretches are uh, specifically targeting uh, the low back, so. We want to bend the top leg, and we're gonna keep that low leg straight. We're going to take this arm right here, and we're going to place our hand or an elbow right here on the glute. Be careful not to get into the hip joint, but into the glute just for our positioning. Then we're going to take either a right hand or a right elbow and we're going to place it on the shoulder. And now what we're going to do is step one is rotate the low back. Step two, rotate the upper body. And you'll most likely get a good uh, little pop like we just heard right here. And we're going to hold this for three to five seconds and just going to the edge of their stretch. Good. And then we'll bring them back. Now for more isolated, what we'll do is we can place our hand right here to keep this hip fixed. And we're going to take our right hand here and we're going to keep the hip in position and we're going to stretch that body, upper body that way. Good right there. Excellent. We're going to hold that for three to five seconds. And we'll help them rotate this way. Now, we could do just the lower half of the body, placing our left hand over the glute and then rotating that that way and keeping this shoulder in a fixed position so it's not rotating there. Feel good stretch there. And you want to be careful of your posture. Shoulders aren't up too high, that third down, and you're just applying some downward pressure. Good, now we're going to bring it back to this position. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to have him flip to the other side. And what we're going to do here is 
requires you to take off your shoes. Because mm -hmm. what we're going to do is get a nice big hip stretch. So we're going to take this, we're going to grab the lower leg right here. You're going to take your foot and you're going to place it in this low back. Not over, not on the bones, not, not on the uh, sacrum, not on the iliac uh, crest there, not on the ribs, but you're going to find that little sweet spot in the QL. And this might take, this is going to take some practice to get this right. And you have to be a bit flexible too. So depending on age and flexibility. Now what I'm going to have you do is reach your upper arm back towards me. Good. Now we're grabbing that. I have my, I have a good solid foundation on my left foot to keep me in position. And I'm holding here this left ankle, left wrist. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this all up. And we're just going to go to the edge of their stretch. Good. And we're going to hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And release. And we'll let everything reset. And you have to find that sweet spot for where your foot's planted. Um, but this is a great stretch if somebody sits at their office desk all day long and has low back pain or they're a driver to wring this low back out and hip is amazing. So we're going to go ahead and stretch that again. Good. And five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Good. And let's go ahead and lie back face up. So if you're enjoying these videos, uh, please sure to uh, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now next what we want to do is focus on the hips. And these are a great stretch for people who have like piriformis syndrome, uh, SI joint dysfunction, things of that nature. So. Starting on this left side, what we're going to do is we're going to bend the leg. I'm going to bring it up into more flexion. Taking my hand on the inside here. Be sure not to pull out any hairs. We're taking our left hand here on the outside of the knee. Now be mindful. If your client has had uh, knee surgeries and uh, or has any type of knee pain, you want to be careful on how much torquing pressure that you're putting on this joint. It shouldn't put any stress on it if you're doing it right, but you still run a risk with those with limitations. So I'm nice and hooked on here. And what I'm going to do is rotate this way and my line of drive is towards the opposite shoulder now for some people who have really tight hips and i'm feeling some resistance here i can go back to my starting position rotate and use more of my forearm along their lower leg and how's that feeling on the knee no pressure right mm -hmm. Good. Now my line of drive is towards that opposite shoulder. Let me know when it gets to the edge of your stretch. Good. Now we'll feel a real nice stretch deep into the glute. This does target that piriformis muscle. And if you want to get some uh, PNF activation, you can have them push about 10% of your strength into my hand and hold it. So let's go ahead and push. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release. Good. All right. Now we're gonna grab 
their, uh, their heel, and then this hand is with the knee. And what we can do is just nice rotation. We're going up, and we're butterflying it outwards. We're going up, and we're butterflying outwards. Good, butterfly outwards. And then we'll go the opposite direction. We'll go out, and then straight leg. Bend out, and down. And for this next one, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our uh, leg up into a 90 degree position here. And we're going to actually rotate it outwards. We're going to place his hand right here on the chest. You can have a seat comfortably here on the table. And we're going to rotate this outwards. Okay, until about stop at the end of resistance. Now I'm going to push towards his chest and ask him to let me know when I get to the edge of his stretch. Good, and we're going to hold this here. This one we're not going to apply any type of PNF. We're just going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Going to come nice straight leg. Again, get some good rotation. Open that up. Now for this next stretch, I like to use a towel or something on my clothing because what we're going to do is we're going to bend their leg up and out. And you want to place their foot right there on your heel or right there on your hip. And we're going to place one hand right here on the knee and we're going to bring this up to the edge of the stretch so they're going to let you know when we get to the edge of the stretch. Good. So I have my weight going that way to get some good hip flexion but then my hand is slightly pressing down with just my weight to get a good stretch here on the adductors. Good. And then we're going to bring it back down. Again, we're going to go out to the edge of the stretch, applying a bit of downward pressure, and we're just going to hold it right here for five, four, three, two, one. Good. And relax. And now for this next stretch, there's uh, two variations just depending on the mobility of your client. We can bend this knee and we're going to bring this heel flat towards the inside of the leg. Bring it flat towards the inside of the leg. Or we can bring this up above the knee. And I always put my hand there to uh, protect the knee and this foot from sliding down. He's pretty flexible, so we're going to do it above the knee. And what we want to do is we're going to apply some downward pressure on this knee. I'm taking my right hand, I'm applying downward pressure right here, and let me know when you feel the edge of your stretch. This is a good st stretch for anyone that's experiencing any type of growing pull, um, even SI joint dysfunction, psoas dysfunction. Mm -hmm. good. And then that same one can be demonstrated just by bringing it in on the inside of the uh, leg holding it into place, and then just applying this downward pressure with the right hand. And how's that feeling? Now if you want, this is one of those areas where you can apply a PNF stretch. So I'm going to have you go ahead and push your knee into my hand, and we're going to hold it for seven seconds. And let's go ahead and push, about 10% strength, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. All right. 
Now this next stretch, we can come out. We're going to come to the inside of their leg. And for these, I like to make sure that I'm putting a padding, a towel on my shirt. And what we're going to do is we're just going to walk this out until we get to the edge of the stretch. And we want to make sure that this knee stays straight. And depending on how this foot is turned out or in is where you're going to feel the stretch. For this, I want to make sure that we're targeting these adductors here. Good, and let me know when I get to the edge of your stretch. Good. And where are you feeling that stretch right now? Nice. And this is one that you can apply a PNF stretch to, so I'm going to have you push your foot into my hip, and we're going to hold it. Good, and push. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Usually after that PNF stretch, you can get an additional one to two inches out of the stretch. Now this next stretch, we're going to bring it across the body. And we want to have a nice straight leg. I'm going to take my left hand and I'm wrapping it around the ankle, taking my right hand to hold this leg into place. Now we're going to take it over, and again, we're just going to go to the edge of their stretch. And let me know when. Good. And when are, where are you feeling this stretch right now? Nice. Okay, and we're going to hold it this for three, two, one. And then from this position, we can just bend the knee, place their foot on our hip. Again, keeping this uh, leg stabilized so there isn't an over rotation. And now we can lean into this stretch like this. Good there. And next what we're going to do is have them come up to a seated position. Good. And you can slide back. We want to have their legs straight on the table. All right. So this stretch is going to be really nice spinal stretch for the low back. Um, those who are in fixed position for long hours, this is a great stretch. What we're going to do is we're going to bend this left leg and they're going to keep, you want them to keep their spine nice and straight. They're going to bring this left arm behind them as a stabilizing arm. They're going to bring this right arm up and they're going to take a nice inhale and exhale and bring it across their body towards you. You're going to grab their, their wrist, placing one hand on the knee just for stabilization, and they're, you're going to stretch them, and they're going to look towards that back wall. And you're feeling a nice stretch there in the lumbar spine. Good. All right, so those are some uh, sports massage therapy stretches that you can uh, apply into your techniques uh, in your own private practice. Let you me know down in the comments sections below um, how you and your clients have benefited from these stretches. Um, I know they've been helpful for uh, me and my clients for, for many years. So if you enjoyed this video, show me some love. Hit that like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out my program links in the description and I'll see you in the next episode.